Alright, and then there was... Burner. Which is that one right there, I believe. Of course, it's not coming up on my map there for some reason. Oh, Beauty? That's a different planet. Now, do you see how there's a ring around that? That's a mod. So this is definitely not the next update. The next has got rings. I can't... Ah, I thought I could... Oh, there he goes. Yeah, so that is... Basically just a disc shape... Um, thing around it. You can't really go through it. Or anything like that. So let's go check out Planet Beauty. I tried to give these things names that would help me remember what kind of planet it was. So it's a temperate planet. It's got aluminum copper. You see the rings? See that is all it is. It's 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 not made out of ice or rocks or anything like that. But it gave it a little bit of a little nice visual change and stuff. And you're supposed to be able to see the rings from the surface too. So this is Planet Beauty. Oh yeah, in the next update, um, you can play in third person also. So you can see yourself walk, you can see your ship. I personally like playing in this, in this mode. But yeah, so here is Planet Beauty. I mean, look at the sky. Nice blue color. Some would say, like, what's the purpose of this game? Well, I mean, there is a driving goal to get to the center of the universe, which I think they took that idea from Spore. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's, it doesn't really have to have a goal. You just kind of... I mean, if you had a ship... Think about this in real life. If you had a ship and you could go anywhere you wanted... Oops. Would you run into a tree? <laughs> no, really. I mean, if you had a ship and you could go anywhere in the universe, what would you do? Would you have a purpose? Or would you just say, you know what? I'm just going to go and fly and explore and just see what's out there. That, to me, is what, what this game is. I mean, it's an open sandbox. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want. So if you just want to go around and explore and just see what's out there, 
You can totally do that. Now some may be thinking that my graphics aren't exactly silky smooth. And that might be because I have them turned up a bit. But in a way, it gives it kind of like a film look to it. You know, with it not being... Because film is 24 frames per second instead of 30. I don't know, it just has kind of like a theatrical look to it if it's... If there's a slight jitter. Of course, lag just is not fun at all. Alright, so where's Planet Burner at? I'm going to look at my thing over here. Oh, what do we have? Is that Toxitary over there? Well, I don't know. It won't tell me. There it is. Okay, Toxitary. Riker. Burner, there you are. So if we scan that, see it's a high energy planet. Our pulse engine is running out of fuel too. While we're moving, let's see if we can go ahead and recharge. And what are we doing for that? Let's see. Well, we don't want power gels. Warp cell. Good. Oh, looks like we have enough to make another one. Okay, so there is Planet Riker. Right over there. Whoa! That's not what I want to do. <coughs> I had a feeling it was going to take me too close to the planet. I'm excited for the next update. They've been spending like a year working on this update and they've been very very quiet about it too. I didn't get the game when it first came out. I got it like a year later, it was on sale for like half off at GOG, that's why I got it there. And plus I don't have any of that DRM or anything like that. But in order to play online, I've got to play it through GOG's uh, launcher. And right now I'm not... I'm not online, this is just a... single player game. But I'm going to try to, when I do my uh, my play series on the next update, I want to do it where it's linked online. Because I think that'll be fun, actually seeing other, other players and, and stuff like that. Okay, so this is Planet Burner. I mean, take a look at the ocean. Uh, see, that's another thing, too. There's supposed to be, like, ocean planets and stuff. Let's find a place to... Let's find a place to park, yeah. Yeah, we'll park right here. 
so it's radioactive. But look at this, look at this crazy thing here. And this is all within the same system. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see, do we have any useful resources anywhere nearby? Yes, we have some more of the Thamium up here. Um, I believe the clouds have been updated also in the next update. One thing I was going to try to get was a freighter. Um, I'm glad I didn't try to go for that since I'm, I want to start over. I mean, I don't have to. I can I can just keep playing from what I've got, but I think just starting a fresh new game would be would be good. Stabilizing. All right. See that how I'm only down to 70%? That is so much better than like being completely out of launch fuel and like four liftoffs. That's just like so annoying. Alright, so we need to... We need to find our space station. Which is right there where the brown is at. I think we're going to wind up flying next to Riker here pretty pretty close. No, maybe not. Let's see if we can get over there now. There we go. This almost seems like a warp drive here, whereas the, uh, the, the height. Ooh. We got some action here. Ha ha ha. We mean you no harm. Um, yeah, right. I'm not giving you nothing. Well, well, come get me. Yay, we got some action. Oh, we need where's our shield here? Oh, not that. Well, that took care of one of them. That's not what I want. 
I forgot how to change my weapon. Gee. Bye bye. Yeah, you better believe they were. All right. Let's get back to our space station. Okay, so we'll get there in 54 seconds, 50 seconds thereabouts. Or we can just pulse drive our way there. And... Boom, we're here. I like to think of this as the Tron light. We communicate with our user here. do something that's not possible and that is go back to our home base where our ship will still be at <laughs> that shouldn't happen but it does all right this is our base And it's a long ways there. So we are back at our base. Let's see, can we consult the galaxy map? No, but at least I remember now how to pull that up. I, was, I knew there was a way to pull up the... Um, Thing to recharge my shields. Alright. And it always puts my ship down here underneath stuff. Instead of up on my launch pad. Why? I have launch pads for a reason. Stop putting it here on the ground. So my base, I had to build it here. So this first part here was, was the original part. Then you have to build off of it, but in the new game, you won't have to do that. I'm going to miss this planet. And unfortunately, there's no portal to this planet. So, yeah. Not, don't know if I'll see it again, but yeah, I definitely wanted to, here, let's just take a, We we'll just kind of fly over and take a look at stuff. Because we won't see it again. Alright. Up we go. Galaxy map. 
All right. Now I gotta figure out where was that system at? It was a wicked system, too. Minuto Nitwit. No, it wasn't that one. <laughs> it was a very unique planet that I found. Was it Taser? I don't know. Let's try Iranchoya. Yes, I was right. This is the planet I wanted to show you guys. I called it Hexadex Hexadecimal Prime. Now if we scan this... Look at this. It's a temporary planet. I thought this was just... Really, really cool. Let's... Let's head on over there and I'll show you. And I call it a hexadecimal prime for a reason. You'll see it when we get up there. You can sort of see it now. Okay, we'll stop right here. You see it? Yeah, do you see it? Wham! Boom! right into a an asteroid yeah so it, i guess it's like a, a it's a built like it's a it's a a planet that's built or something Now, it's said that the planets don't rotate around the axis, but I don't know. They do a pretty good simulation. I mean, if I go over here where the sun is shining, it'll, it'll be daytime, so. Look at the ground. And we'll just find a place to park here. Landing area not clear. Well, find a spot that is. Finally. Oh, that was weird. And I wasn't able to find a portal here either. And there's not a... a, a, a a base thing that allows you to build a base here either which is kind of a, a bum deal but look at this so maybe in the the next update you know I can find a planet like this and build a base because this is like totally cool so if you've never seen a temporary planet before well here it is Now see, here's the fun of the game, 
is going and exploring and finding stuff like this. Alright, so I want to go ahead and, and um, go back to the Stargate and hopefully get to the Strawberry Cream planet, so that way I can show you uh, what that looks like. Plus, um, you may be wondering what the address is of Planet Riker. So I want to be able to provide that to you guys. What other planets are over here that I haven't... Uh, which one does this one have? Okay, so... <laughs> Planet Dust Bowl is a... Parched planet. We'll, uh, we'll check this out here real quick. Might as well. I want to be able to show you these places. I mean, there's so many to choose from. Ah, there's a space station up there. And those lines are basically trade routes. That's a ship flying up from a... from a trading post. I want to get over here where the light's at. Where the sun's at. I may not be successful, but I did mark down a base over here. I don't know, what do you all think of this game so far? I think it's amazing. And the fact that this huge update that they're releasing is just going to make this game incredible. Whoa, flying rock. Yay! Get to go into the sunlight. That'll be cool. Oh, okay. So I... Not a base. This is a trading outpost here. Okay, so if you see, there's like billowing dust storms here. This is why I called this place uh, Dust Bowl. Hello there. We got bird creatures. So the ships are procedurally generated based on parts. So... So there's like basic pieces for all the ships and then the computer will procedurally put them together so that way there's all kinds of different types of ships. We'll head out here. I mean, take a look at this. And the dust storms are supposed to be even more... Uh, incredible. 
in the next update. See, isn't this just fantastic? All right, so we have a trade terminal here. Um, let me see. What do we have as far as... We want to make sure that we have enough for our hyperdrive. Okay, so we need Thamium. Let's see if they have some. We want to... We'll buy here. And look how many credits I got. I got 60 million. That was just doing a whole lot of trading and and stuff. So, And I'm going to be starting all over again. So, isn't that fun? There's Thamium. Oh, there's only 35. Alright, so we'll buy those. Uh, Tago, yeah, I want to buy, 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 buy. How do I buy? I forgot. Okay, that's how I buy. So stuff like this, like the re-latticed arc crystals, these are things that you can uh, buy and sell someplace else. So see, I would have to buy this for like a million, almost a million five hundred. But then, and you can see where it says galactic average, it's plus 5.1%. When you buy, you want to find something that is, where this is green. So in this case, it'll be negative. That means it's cheaper than the galactic average. And this is why you need a, a spreadsheet or something to put notes. So you mark down the planet where you can buy it the cheapest, and then you mark down the planet of where you can sell it uh, for the most. And that is how you do the trading. And the only way to, to really know this is by um, when you visit planets, you go to the trading terminal, and don't go to the one on the station, they don't give you the best prices. Go to these trade terminals and you go through here and this other stuff not so much you want to look for the stuff that has a little bit more but yeah so incoming storm yes <laughs> and i thought that was a storm out there like okay like right here do you see this so minus 27 percent So basically, okay, I can buy 34 of these for 390,000. That's pretty cheap because of the negative 27%. And then you go and sell it uh, for more. And that's how you make your money. So if we change this over to... Um, these are the sellable. Okay, this is like stuff that I have that I can sell. Now if we take a look... Let's see, usually... Okay, so this isn't too bad, but you, you want to look at stuff that's... green to sell. Oh, like right here. These carbon nanotubes. Look at that. Plus 103%. So if you had these carbon nanotubes, and you bought them cheaper from another system, you can come here and sell it for that higher galactic average. See, and here are some other ones, too. So you would write this information down on a spreadsheet saying, Oh, okay, yeah, I can sell self-repairing heridium here. You know, you just write these down here and, like, their galactic average. and Which will change because there is an in-game in economy. So when things are bought or sold, this demand goes up or down. So keep that in mind. So yeah, so you buy them where you can find them the cheapest and you sell them 
where it's higher. And that's how you do it. And I have some stuff I can sell here. Hold on. Like, I've got this Almec gel. Can't really... That's not really a good price to sell. Um, what else can I sell? I don't want to sell the Thamium. See how I bought the Thamium and now it's like negative 12? Yeah, not really a good thing. Iron Frost Crystal. Wow, do I have that many? I didn't think I had that many. Star Bulb. I got 50 of those. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll sell that. We'll sell those. That should help clear up my inventory. Let's see. Yeah, that helped clear things out. Yeah, what about this? These trophrams, I can't really do anything with those. Ah, where's the trophium? I was pretty sure I could sell it here. I guess not. They don't want it. Okay, like so okay, so some places want stuff and other places don't. Look at the dust storm. And you can see the temperature is 128 degrees. So you need to make sure that your exosuit has got uh, proper protection and that requires money to upgrade and you know all this other stuff. But you can see there's like cactus and stuff out there. We got the floating rocks again. But yeah. Look at this. And that's why I called this planet Dust Bowl. Were there any other planet? Then there's totally three planets here. Okay, there is the. That was the temporary planet. Ah! Watch the rocks. Okay, there's another one over there. See it? There are moons, too. Each planet can have up to two moons. Nimoy. <laughs> I named this after Leonard Nimoy. Ooh. Our pulse engine's almost out of fuel. Oh, crud. I guess my cursor's not on it. We can't see what type of, um... What type of planet it is. It looks like an ice planet is what it looks like. Also, too, you can see, like, the features of the planet, but when you get to the planet, it's like those features disappear. Well, that's supposed to change in next also.
Yeah. So basically an ice planet. Notice how the music changes. All right. Okay, so there's all these places that I've gone and visited, but this is like on the other side of the galaxy. If you look at the uh, little inner map there in the upper left, it tells you, okay, the galactic core, which is kind of like sort of the goal of the game, and I haven't been there yet. It's like 712,000 light years away. And if you look at some of these planets and like how far I can possibly go, see that line there that takes how f a path that I went. But you can see kind of like the furthest I can go, there's like 248 light years. 374. So you're getting kind of the idea that it would take a while to get to the Galactic Core. People have done it, but it would take a while. And there's black holes, so, and that's how I, I went from one side of the universe to this side um, as a result of a black hole. Or black hole or wormhole? I think it was a wormhole. Um, so you can use that um, to help you kind of you know, hop, hop, skip, jump around until you get closer and closer. Home base. Okay, yeah, that's that's where my home base is at. Yeah, so I'm not going to show you all this stuff. I want to get back to... Uh, get back and show you those planets. Uh-oh. I think we have a space battle going on. Um, purple words, those are words that I've managed to translate. Alright. Let's go help them out. want to be careful not to shoot the actual the actual freighter because then then they start sending getting communicated 
Whoa. Okay. Where are you at? Let's change our weapons. There you are. Shoot some phasers at them. And that's how you recharge your shields. Where you at? We'll change our weapons to another one here. Oh, they got that one. So that freighter there... Okay, this one here is the one that's thanking me. And they have a reward. What I hate, though, is trying to figure out how to get on board it. There's a... Landing pad somewhere. And I think... Sometimes I have to turn myself around. No, that's not where it is. It might be over here. It's funny, sometimes you can find the landing pad quickly and other times you can't whoa you're right into the engine there that that works Oh yeah, this don't look right. I was hoping to find the uh, opening. Aha! There it is. I've never seen him this close to the space station before. Boom! <laughs> and then we just head to the bridge to pick up our... Reward. Which is up this way. So he's right down there. We'll just jump over here. So we'll go ahead and take the reward. So we get money, and this is another way that you get units. See, and then I get a warp cell, so that that works out pretty well. And then you can also buy freighters by simply talking to them. It's the same thing with the other ships, too. You can buy any ship or do trades. Okay, so...
So this is the freighter, and that's how much there is. But you can see how much it costs. And so I was saving up for a freighter, but it looks like I'll be doing that all over again. That's okay. Ah, crud. Really? I have to wait for my jetpack to recharge. Now we can do it. I could have used the stairs, but why? Now if I can remember which direction I parked. I went down the other direction. And I'm not sitting over there. Where is my ship? It's over there. Look for the icon. Okay, so where's our home planet at? Is that it? Oh yeah, I called it Geyser for a reason. Is there a portal over here? Maybe this is a different planet. Nope. Well, there's my base. Question is, how far away is it? I don't know. It's not telling us. Let's head back up into space here. I like how it still doesn't tell me how far away it is. Let's go back up again. Sometimes you have to continually play this game, um... I don't, when I say play this game, I don't mean the game itself, but, you know, like, going back and forth and, ooh, did I just pass it? I think I just passed it. Where is it? There she is.
Where's my landing? Where's my landing? And here we are. We are back home at my base. Now, even though I parked my ship here, if I was to go through the... Um, my goodness, now it's now in my way here. I have to be careful here. If I was to go through the portal and then come back, duh, oh, this way, my ship would be back on the ground like you saw the last time. Oh yeah, and you can do some trading with your own uh, trade terminal. So sometimes you'll find some good deals someplace else and you'll be able to sell it at your base for a decent amount too. Okay, so... Take you back here. Now, I know it's not very realistic if you leave your ship in another galaxy and then it's like right here. Not exactly realistic, but... Okay, so now if we check the galactic map... Do you see on the uh, upper left where I'm at right now? So before I was on the opposite side, now I'm here. This is where I started. And I know... The strawberry cream is over on this side somewhere, but I can't remember what... I have it written down. It's the Riley system. But I can't remember exactly... where that system was at. Ribeye. See, I went through all... I went through quite a bit here. You could literally just go and... explore every single star system if you want it. It would take you a very, very long time to do that. about up here? I thought, thought maybe I could just fly to the planet and show you. But I may not be able to. That one looked like it said pistachio. Remote. Did I look down here at all? Okay, no. I think this red path is the path of the galactic core.
Now we went down this direction already. My goodness. Did we get these? Riley, is that it? That's it. Okay, it's 880 light years. So I had actually... My distance is pretty decent. So is this it here? I think this is it. Yep. So now, let's go ahead and head on to it. So now I'll be able to really show this place off to you. Because this place was amazing. See, isn't this a fantastic looking planet? When I found this, I thought it was an amazing... Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize this is right here. Yeah, when I found this place, I was like, wow. It's like I wouldn't mind building a base here. Now, I should have a portal marked. So oh, oh, I saw a purple. Remember, I used the first letter of what I want to mark on waypoints. Okay, 27 minutes away. Let's head up in the space. Well, if we want Thamium, we know where to go. <laughs> there we go. See, now it's only two minutes away. And if we use our pulse drive... Makes it even quicker. Look at this. It's nighttime around the portal again. Wouldn't that... Wouldn't you know? That's how it was the first time we came here. But at least you got to see it during the daytime this time. I figured I would just fly here. It's like it's going further away, not closer. It's weird because it's over the horizon. Go back up into space and come back down. Now we'll go back down again. There we go.
we are. Alright, there's my save point there. Now you'll notice that since we flew here, the portal will now open. I think. Must be on the other side. Yep. See, there it is. So in case you wanted to address to this planet, there it is. Now I'll go ahead and put it the address of uh, Planet Riker up here. Uh, let's see. There it is. So it's a bird. Was it two sunsets, sunrises, a tent? Another one of those, a face and a moon. And a galaxy and a cube. And our little balloon. And a moon and a rocket. See? And here we are. Remember this planet? <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is No Man's Sky pre-next update. So I think I pretty much showed you everything that I wanted to show, so... Um, I appreciate you um, checking this out. I had to break it up into parts so that way it wasn't, you know, like really, really long in one episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe I'll see you around in the No Man's Sky universe. All right. See ya. Even though I broke this episode up into three parts, the third part was still long. Even so, I will be making a separate episode to feature the screenshots I took in No Man's Sky as a tribute to the cool places I've seen. Subscribe for notifications on that, and in the meantime, there's plenty more episodes in my rambling series. Take care.